tell you a little bit of my story. I wasn't always this confident pastor that you're looking at today. I remember getting married to what I thought was the most wonderful man in the world. On my college campus, all the girls would say to me all the time, you're so lucky. He's so wonderful. My husband was the big man on campus. He was the man that every girl wanted to marry, and I got to. I was lucky enough to get him. And for a long time in our marriage, I really believed that I was just lucky to get this man. I had a low self-esteem. I really struggled with identity. Until one day I was sitting in a women's study. I'll never forget this. I, it's emotional even as I sit here today. And I heard a woman begin to teach on a passage in 2 Corinthians that talked about our adequacy. And it said that our adequacy was not in and of ourselves, for our adequacy belongs to the Lord. And I remember feeling so inadequate that day. I remember feeling inadequate to be married to this wonderful man that was smart and good looking and a man in God. And for the first time, I linked with that scripture when Holy Spirit whispered in my ear and he said, Tam, your adequacy is not in and of yourself, for your adequacy belongs to me. Your adequacy is in me. And for the first time, I embrace the truth of the Word of God that I am inadequate in and of myself. I will never be adequate enough. But when I linked arms with the adequacy of Almighty God, Almighty God breathed into me His adequacy. I'll never forget that day I became adequate. That day I became confident. I started seeing myself as wonderful. I started walking as wonderful. When I became confident in who God made me to be, I stood up differently. I walked differently. I saw my husband differently. I wasn't adequate for him. I'm adequate for God because his adequacy is in me. Something changed in my marriage because something changed in my identity. So the truth is, when you embrace God's truth, everything for you changes. When you are empowered with God's truth, your marriage changes, your relationship with your children's change, your vocation changes, everything about you changes. Come on September 26th to my story as we talk about embracing the truth of God. I'm here to give you tools, to give you tips, to show you how to embrace the truth of God so you can see your life radically change when you embrace the truth of God. Join us with my story, September 26th. See your life change as you embrace truth.